And this next comment, as y'all see, says Alexa, play 100 shots. Yo, YK, W, T, F, G, O, man. You got J, and I'm back. I'm about to do another video, man, and today, hey, man. For those of y'all, first off, welcome back to the ECN. Welcome back to the Elevated Culture Network, y'all. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. But we are back. We're back at the Elevated Culture Network because we're going to start this new series, y'all. It's some things that, like, I don't know. Anytime we on social media, anytime we scrolling through things, anytime there's some topical things going on, like some, maybe on TikTok or just some reels that we like, that we like, like. What's the first thing that you really do on that post? I'll wait. You go through and read the comments, huh? Well, I decided, bruh, what I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna start going through some of these like biggest posts as far as like the topical things is going on. And we're just gonna start reading some crazy comments. And we're gonna bring them straight here to YouTube, man. But no, today on episode one of reading crazy comments, today's topic, today's topic, is uh big juke yo Gotti's big brother before we even get into the topic let me say this before we even get into the topic man y'all gotta press subscribe y'all have got to press subscribe because we on the road to a million subscribers but we definitely on the road to 20k yo that's crazy super close to 20k so if it's less than 20k you watch this video press subscribe you press like you comment down below distribute 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 me, share this video to all your friends and all your family mail. Cause look, some of these comments, and this is the, when you, uh, and this is the disclaimer that I'm, a, I'm gonna say right now. I'm gonna say right now, just because I'm reading these crazy comments, does not mean that this is the view or the opinion of anything that got to do with me at all. We just reading the comments, man. But look, just some backstory for those of y'all that don't know. And I hate that this got to be the first episode of this anyway. But um, just some backstory because I was so baffled. By some of the things that I was reading. For those of y'all that don't know, Big Juke. I didn't know too, too much about him before this situation. But uh, is Yo Gotti's big brother. Um, For those of y'all that don't know, Yo Gotti is in some beefs. Or a CMG. Let's say that CMG is Yo Gotti's label. Um, and, I'm, and I'm only speaking on what I know. Let me say that first and foremost. I may not know everything. But CMG is Yo Gotti's label. Uh, big Juke is his big brother. CMG is known to have a few issues and known to have a couple problems with some other people in the industry. PRE is one of those labels, let me just say that. Now, for those of y'all that don't know, backstory between the whole Yo Gotti and Dolph beef. That, I mean, you know, there are plenty of different stories about that beef. There are plenty of different, different people talking about it. Um, let me just say Dolph said it himself, Dolph said, in one of his lyrics that, you know, they had maybe messed with a, a, a similar woman before. And ever since then, it's kind of been, you know, bad blood, some animosity, some hostility. Okay, long story short, let's go back. We all know, long live Dolph, R.I.P. to Dolph. Um, just as another black man, as a, as a great artist as well. Um, Dolph was taken out back in Memphis. I, I, I cannot remember. It was, I feel like it was October of like 2022, maybe something like that. But but I feel like a little bit over a year ago, maybe two years ago, he was taken out. We already, you know, the speculations, nobody knows anything. Of course, I think they caught the person that did it. One thing that I remember seeing, Big Ju went online and, you know, he was saying for anybody in, uh, in his crew, you know, that was struggling or whatever, like, you know, he was saying, jokingly saying, you know, he paid a rent, you know, he wanted to get put out, pay for their jewelry, you know, certain things like that. And, um, he was almost making like, almost making jokes of the situation. Now, look, I don't know any of this. I don't, I don't have no sides. This is just, this is just truly all my opinion. You feel me? When it came to 
this situation, and this is where I'm about to get into the comments. Over the past, uh, I think it was yesterday, um, I believe Yo Gotti and Big Juke's uncle passed away, so they were at a funeral. Unfortunately, after this funeral at the repast, there have been reports, and it seems as if Big Juke um, was taken out as well. And this is what I'm gonna say before we even get into this, okay? No, I'm gonna save my thoughts for later. Let's get into the comments because you know one of the first things that you do whenever you hear a situation like this, you gotta look it up, you gotta see what's going on. Big Juke, actually, his last Instagram post kind of hinted towards, you know, snakes, you know, taking you out and, you know, protect yourself just in a third. And um, stuff like that is just ironic. It's just so crazy and it's, it's, it's kind of chilling. But I ain't gonna hold us no longer, man. Under that post, and this is the point of this series now, under that post, there were some crazy comments. A lot of them are gonna be, you feel me? Around the same kind of topic. But there were some crazy comments. And I'm gonna pop the comments right up here on the, I'm gonna probably put them right here on the screen. Let's just go ahead and get into the first one. Okay, I'm, I, I mean, they posted it under the story so they can be seen with their Instagram. I ain't gonna hide Instagrams or anything. I might not shout it out or anything, but y'all see it. First, this is what this was like the top comment I saw. This was like one of the first comments I saw. Said long live Dolph. Thought this shit was over, huh? Now look, it's a lot of that. It's an awful lot of that in this comments. That's probably like the main theme in this. And this is just this is bad, y'all. This is just putting it out there like this. Like people are commenting. Let me go to the next one. Let me go to the next one before I get too deep on that. The next one. And this was this was this one was kind of funny because this actually has a reply to it as well. Said, why first thing everybody do when somebody dies is go to their IG with a thinking face. Now I thought about this too, because I'm like, well, yeah, everybody do it. But shoot, if you don't know the person, you know that this is where you're gonna see what they look like, you're gonna see what they had going on, you're gonna see if there was like any beef, whatever story they posted in the past 24 hours. This is human nature at this point, you feel me? And this is sad, but this is what's said. Like, hey, it, you, you're always gonna be more supported. You're gonna be, the, your, your numbers are gonna go through the roof as soon as you pass away. Rappers say it all the time. It happens all the time. So, you know, yeah. Like, it's kind of when you when you read that comment, it's like, yeah, man, like, well, it's just human nature to do that. And then that's what the person underneath the comment said. Ask yourself, because you're right here with everybody, goof. And that was funny, though, because <laughs> It just brought a little lightheartedness to it because like, yeah, like, unless you was, you don't seem, if you asking about this, then yeah, you ain't been here. You came here right with everybody else, man. So uh, that was funny to me too, but it did make me think like, dang, like it was really unfortunate. Like you really have to pass away or be in some beef or just negative things have to be surrounded by your name for people to go searching for you, people to go looking for you, you know? Um, and I hate it. I mean, but I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm one of them too right now, so I can't even say too much. Next comment. Oh God. When I saw this one, y'all, and, and this is what I don't, I don't want any of these videos to ever feel like I'm making light of situations or I'm joking about anything because none of this stuff is a joke. But what I am doing is reporting the things that are being seen. And this next comment, as y'all see, says Alexa, play 100 shots. For those of y'all that don't know, 100 Shots is a Young Dolph song that was apparently kind of a song back at them because they apparently like shot up uh, an apartment or something that Dolph was in. And you know, the hook is like, how you how you shoot a whole hundred shots and you miss them all? Wow. Um, I'm telling you, bro, people was heartless in these comments. People. Woof. Next one. Um, and I only got about a couple more. You feel me? Um, yeah. And and this is this is what this was the next one that like really kind of made me think about it too. And and this is that's why I kind of stay out of situations when it comes to this, like as far as commenting and stuff like that. Because the next comment, y'all really be choosing sides, like y'all know these folks. And that is very true. You saw comments that was and then I didn't even screenshot the worst comments because I, in fear of the security of the people who said the stuff. You feel me? Like, 
people on here are going hard. And you know, it almost is kind of, to a certain extent, if you don't have anything to do with it, if you're, let me say this, and, and let me be real, I'm being real with y'all as the viewers, if you are such a diehard fan for somebody, that you live, these people are in Memphis, Tennessee. Let's say you in Oregon. You in or first off, you ain't even about the culture. You feel me? But so let's say you out here commenting, going hard, like you part of the game. Bro, you ain't got nothing to do with this. You don't know what you what pot you stirring up. You feel me? So, like, yeah, like it's, it really be some folks on here that be choosing sides. Like they know these folks. Like they know the like they know the stories. That's why, look, like I said, I'm staying out of it. All I'm doing is reporting it to y'all. But as far as choosing the side, figuring out who's right, who's wrong, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I still don't know what the only there are always three sides to a story. He is hers and the truth. Or he is his and the truth. Don't know the us know the truth. You feel me? Um, all right. Next comment, how many more we got? Yes, yeah, two more. Next comment, um, I think this is the, the, the topic I was telling you about. Um, all right, it says, well, dang, cuz, you laughed at Dolph when he got killed. See how God worked? Eye for eye. All this over what? Well, rest in peace, black man, LLD. And you see, that one was kinda, I mean, Karma is um, something that I believe in. I don't know if y'all believe in karma. I believe in it. Um, and to laugh, to make light, to make jokes about anybody's passing, even if you had something to do with it, you feel me, is, I believe, a karma-able offense. Karma-able offense is what I'm going to call it. Um... I'm, I'm staying out of that. And then this is the last one. I wanted to kind of say this one. I wanted to kind of say this one for the last one. And it's going to piggyback off that last comment too, because this is, this is what I ultimately need us to remember as viewers, as outside of the parties of the situation. This is what I need us to remember. This last comment, even though you did all dissing, I have compassion for you. May God have mercy on your soul. May he uplift the good you did and devalue the bad. I'm team nobody. The deaf's gotta stop. Stop the cycle. This, this is the comment that I say I connect with the most. You feel me? When it comes to the situation, and, and, and as y'all saw the, at the end of the, like the last guy's comment, like, there's another black man that's gone, bro. Regardless of all the jokes, regardless of who did what, regardless of now, just think about this, y'all. This is like, this is, these are stances or these are things that cause war. You feel me? And like, over what? Women? Power? Money? Like, all I'm saying is, at the end of the day, all that happened was another black man was gone. Another black man is gone. Another black man was killed by the hands of what I'm assuming are other black people. And at this point, we have to stop the cycle. I don't know if people like, and this is one thing I talk to my little brother about all the time. My little brother about, hold on, how old is he? He's 14, about to be 15. And just one of the things I always need to them to understand the kids in that generation is this stuff is not cool. Like I know, and that's so cliche to say, and don't nobody listen to that. Don't nobody, don't nobody listen to that part, but this is so cliche. Like this ain't cool. Having to constantly look over your shoulder, having to come, you can't even go and celebrate the life of your uncle. You feel me? And I don't know what needs to happen. I don't know what can happen as far as the parties involved. All I'll say is peace. Be still. And I don't want to sound too churchy or none of that, but just like, just, yo, sit back, evaluate everything at hand. Everything at hand. And it's time to let this go, bruh. Because what is this going to It's just going to continue to lose lives? And that's not, that's not, that's not anything that we need to be doing. 
the comments and that's what i'll say too man i just i wish people had heart like more heart genuine heart nowadays you feel me like regardless of what you felt about an artist before regardless of what you feel about a situation if that man ain't never did nothing to you if if they've never harmed your life if they've never done anything to hurt like no you will not have the room to be sitting here no matter how much of a diehard fan you are for somebody and be making a mockery, almost a joke, you feel me, of somebody's life. Now, like I said, karma is karma. Cool, whatever, but it's got to stop. That's all I ask. Memphis is already, to anybody in Memphis, if you're watching this, be safe. Be safe. I used to go to Tennessee State, so I knew people from Memphis, and I know, like, I know it's real out there. Been to Memphis quite a few times. I know it's real out there. Be safe. I really hope that a lot comes, you know, uh, I hope that peace comes from this. And what I'm going to say is, if y'all enjoyed this reading crazy comments, episode one, y'all got to stay posted, y'all. Right, hey, I'm on TikTok live right now. I'm on TikTok live and I'm um, also going to go on Instagram live sometimes. So y'all be sure. Follow, fo follow me. Follow me on Instagram. Blow my underscore sex. Follow me on TikTok. Blow my underscore sex too. You might be on live. Why are we doing these videos, man? Y'all gotta press like. Y'all press subscribe. Yo, on the road to 20,000. 20, oh my God. I'm so excited, y'all. Love and appreciate y'all, man. We getting back in, in, in the role of things. You understand the thing? Let me get about this. I love and appreciate y'all, though, man. RIP. Um, like I said, I hate, I, I, I hate any time that any black man's life is lost. But, yeah. Gonna read some more crazy comments soon, so I'll be appreciate y'all, man. Peace.